they pick themselves some Zeus, very stable, run of the mill mid laner that does a lot of, uh, right now. Um, there's some flex potential with Tiny, of course. Top lane, Alberka. Connect from Y1. Berka's gonna attempt to duck into the trees, but peel with another beam. They've been required now. Actually, has it potentially for the kill onto Eki. Still got some spells to be able to spam. That'll help them close the distance. Like he's got a big stick and a fairy fire, but it will not matter in the end. A double Sheesh. kill for Pure, and this, you know, this is what we were kind of expecting. The techie right click <laughs> instead of anyone else. I mean, it is a very strong right click. It's no longer 43 damage techie, but... Alberka, I'm gonna take some damage here. Actually wanting to turn? It's Zeus, got yes. the Thunder Gods, I suppose. There we go. And now Eki's still got the toss back as well with another round of spells. Full awareness of what's going on. Do you like? Mm. It's not about liking it or not, but they have no stacks on Dire by the way. Lane? Yep. She was just getting dive. Stampede instantly used to try and protect him. It's Bot also potentially as well. getting them a kill down bottom as well. So um, they'll kill Dark Lord. Meanwhile, Eki dies mid lane and the value out of the Stampede. My lord. In the current state, he's really not weak. Like He actually dishes out a lot of damage. Gives you control as well. Like level 3 is his He's huge power poison. spike. <laughs> and Zeus is here, by the way. No. The gods is not fine. They do see them coming through the portal, though. Claude's rage is still on cooldown for a little bit of time. Whitemon rotated out. Level 6 on the tech is already. Kiyotaka is going to be... Uh, this is an arcane rune, Zeus. This is a bit scary for Tundra. If Kiyotaka can freely spell cast, the spells will bite them. And that is exactly the case. Never mind, all of them do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The disruption will also be very handy. Mid lane, they see solo. Should definitely be able to bring him down. Eki's chain control is perfect. Mid lane Inside as the well. River, they're also going to be able to get the kill. Shadow Demon. But of course, Nine Panda's very happy with that. Nine Class did actually commit his TP. Kyotak is going to be able to get the slow from the phylactery. There'll be another kill to add, and we are starting to see. You know, once his phylactery was picked up from the Zeus. He starts to hurt, basically. <laughs> like, once he gets that phylactery, every spell he uses on you... Like, one chin cast, like, look at this mid lane, right? Like, pure... Oh, Eki, is he going to be able to get the TP? No, Wymon as well. Stops him at the buzzer. You got a Thunder Gods, unfortunately, not enough for the kill onto Pure, who gives a tip over as well, so... I mean, Pure is more than happy. He's got a Mask of Madness to be able to catch up. He's got the Seeds of Serenity, and you know, he's seeing what his team's doing on the on the top lane as well, getting a double kill for them. He's actually got Glimmer Cape already, so... They're pretty farmed on Tundra, and you know, we'll see if they're yep. going to be able to take some fights shortly. Nice, Thank you, though, Blink Reveal. Cross back, Alberka should be able to blow up 9 class. Toby with a jump in as well finds her own rebuttal, but again, Kiyotaka off to the sideline can freely spell Kass, and that'll mean he's able to get a double kill. So both supports on Tundra will go down. Nice reveal, right? Like a pretty decent reveal. Back in. Ooh, they're back never in. mind. Toby and Thompson. Yes, you're going to be a little bit more conservative, and we kind of do see that's a build. You know, Iron Sunge into the Scepter, but maybe late, late game, we could see yep. that be a choice here. If, if we do get there, if we do get there, I, I can see it happening. They know where Puck is. Blink has been broken by the uh, orb. But... Pure? Pure? What is this farming? Maybe relying on a BKB TPR. They're going to get a glimpse of the Zeus. So the Tundra, they'll find a pretty big kill. Alberk is in some danger as well. Solo's going to be able to rotate. Life still had just picked up the Radiance as well. So he's going to have at least more impact than what we've seen prior for him. But... They'll catch Toby on the retreat, and Pure just... Uh, that was some incredibly greedy farming on nine panda side of the map, and they are without a doubt going to be rewarded. That is a big triple kill for them, and the only casualty will be Kiyotaka. If you could take a fight around, uh, I don't know, like a triangle or something like that, then uh, then I'd like them to take it. Fest, Eki, Pure. Okay, yeah, down at the south, Dark Lord. Turn on to Pure. He's actually going to try and blow up the life, so he might be able to. Dark Lord with the BKB activated, but he's got nowhere to run. Now Toby's ready to go once again with a blink up in a couple of seconds. They need the vision. 
Take the distance, though, not to be. Meanwhile, over to the other side, Topson once again finding solo kills, this time onto Shadow Demon. Fight this on Pandas. Keep his on cooldown for a little bit of time. Good vision great on Tundra. Ward set up. Oh, it's a great ward. Heck, he's actually going to get the initial jump. They want to try and target down Pure at the moment. Instant shot activation, and Pure is not an easy kill. Stampede as well, just to protect him. And do they want to go back in? Because Topson found the backline. Kyotaka gets away from the coil, but once again, both supports are in trouble. They'll get the kill into Solo. Meanwhile, they're still chasing Kyotaka. Battling over against Pure. But is dead. it really going to matter in the end? Because Kyotaka still ends up getting caught. Topson, another fight that the puck has zero concerns. There's just nothing they can do to address him. Even looking to try and catch up to Eki. Doesn't unfortunately make it down to the low ground with the Ogre Seal Totem. Tundra will find a third. That's okay, he's getting hunted. And he's going to run headfirst into me. And a Kobe. Find the catch. KB. BKB. Can he actually get away from this? Oh, no way. A Burka? There you go. B wow. What value? <laughs> Value BKB. <laughs> and Eki, he's, he's going to see them first as well. Solo's going to do whatever oh. he can to protect him. At least Topson. Kiyotaka doesn't get clipped by the Topson. coil. Look at the damage out from Kiyotaka. But once they're able to catch him, BKB comes out last second. It's not going to matter in the end. Pure is able to cleave right through it. It was close. He was able to showcase how much damage was you're able to be outputted. Dark Lord's going to be hunted down to the high ground. Gibby's about to expire in the sky. He's slow. They need the infest. He's going to be able to get it. Last second, Alberka just there in the nick of time to keep his carry alive. But I guess the really shining spot is the fact that this mid lane is actually shoved out. So. Pray for the hex on Alberka. Try and jump Dark Lord with the great firing <laughs> Dark Lord. Yoink. <laughs> Where's your infest bomb now, <laughs> Solo. Opson. Might even tick him out with the Witchblade solo. Urges himself. These buildings are falling fast. Pure. Starting to go to work. I mean, we're in some alternate universe, man. When Luna is jumping the lifestealer like that. Bombing him. And Pure. Eki? Of course, Pure's playing with the Ages. And they might not even go through the first life as well by the looks of it. Pure, he's got the boys to protect him. Nice and fast. Once again. Nine class. I was I was saying that disruption is probably the most valuable spells to steal, but this infest is proving to be way more valuable. Zeus is into the coil. Yeah, Zeus is gone. It's just gonna be too much damage here. Got some items. Is he actually not dead? Oh. Alright, Thompson's going for it. Never mind. He finds a lucky crit as well. <laughs> Front of the fountain. No concerns for Topsum. No concerns from Tundra. Can complete maybe the S. Nah, no, not even the S and Y will be completed. Tiny is sleeping in. Let's see. Fast bomb is ready. Fast bomb. With a buyback as well. They'll be able to get at least the kill to start, but Pure as well. He just has such an overwhelming amount of net worth that Dark Lord can't even beat back into him. Pure is going to be able to reposition. Toby with the buyback. No hesitation for him to be able to rejoin the fight. And that should be it. Dark Lord out. 80 GG. seconds without your life stealer. G's are going to be called. Tundra. Take game one. Nice comeback for, from Tundra. Well, not in this game, but in the tournament after yesterday's games and what happened. Uh, they didn't <clears throat> have the best performance. High potential, we are still going to get that cross wex with the, the vessel on Kiritaka. And our side lane. The strength here versus the Undying can often struggle. Speaking of the Undying, laying down, it's going to be our first blood. First. Question of who's going to find it, it will be Dark Lord. They did use the tombstone, but. Can they kill the no. 9 class, maybe? Looks like they can. And taking a little bit too long to be able to address the zombies. They will be able to get another nice kill onto the Disruptor. We see the strength that is now being showcased with this Lunar Undying, especially whenever the Tombstone doesn't get addressed instantly. Lane. Bottom lane again, Alberka. She was going to be able to waveform forward. Alberka survives on a slither of health, but Whitemon 
He's going to be able to find him. 71 damage for the techies with all the stats. You did have Pugna rotating down to bottom, but Topson wasn't required. They could kill Luna. Dark Lord is on, has a lot of bonds. Let's see. He's gone. That's yeah, too much burst. He's just gone. Does look like Waimon at least is going to be able to get the Wisdom. Sunstrike will be on the mark as well. Getting pretty scary. You already take bottom lane. Pure's free farmed. You've got Topson who's going to be able to rotate wherever he wants to uh, across the map. Disruptor and they might have him in. Solo, yeah. yeah. He's got decay, double decay, but maybe with some Sunstrike. Is there a Sunstrike ready? No. You can see Toby even worrying about that, so he's moving back a bit. Dude, so the, uh, solo? When are you going to die, my friend? This <laughs> is so much space. Oh my god, how long has it taken for them to kill him? <laughs> Finally, they get him. Mid lane, there's four heroes here now. I mean, Eki in the river, but... Wymon's already read this. A, a great read from, from the tech is instantly there to be able to break tech. Tops him. Yeah, he's got his glimpse here ready. There and we go. Ward gonna be dropped as well. Glimpse back. Here come the defenders. But the rainbow TPs will be too late. Wymon's gonna run into the sun track, so at least Kyotaka will get a rebuttal. And they don't have any stacks for her, do we? Do they? Zero. Like that's something that uh, these two teams aren't really doing a lot at all. You are? Specifically nine pandas. Is this? I don't know. Is this questionable stuff? I feel like it's a little bit questionable, right? Not even what? close. I don't know what How's he alive? About. Oh Never my worried. god. <laughs> Maybe serious? Luna. They might be Oops. able to get him. Why one? Can uh, they get the vision? Level two glimpse. They got him. Oh my god. Oh boy. Pure lives. And they even get the kill on the Dark Lord. And now Maybe Pure's. Even gonna get soloed i mean look at this they started with this attempt onto the undying and it looks like they might even finish it as well topson with a wraparound oh he actually killed nine class but what, what a nice guy topson didn't want the kill wanted to heal his support looks like he's still going to be able to get the damage in nonetheless towards the end and now nice doesn't even find the spear as well glimpse before the stun maybe no nah. <laughs> i was thinking maybe he can spear him to the high ground but you can't even spear him, the, the static storm is there, the sun strike is missed. Not something they wanted to try and follow through, and now our Berka is going to be caught out. And we see the strength of the Disruptor. When you play from ahead, and when you've got deep wards to be able to find these glimpses, it's a meta we've been seeing. I don't know if this Max Thunderstrike and Ag Shard is something we've been seeing. This, on like this, is, not, this, but... this is not the meta, right? right here, okay. You've seen. <laughs> okay. I was gonna this, say, is like, this is them just owning, being way too far ahead, like having zero kinetic field. I don't, I don't know if it was ever the meta. Maybe when um, the shard gave you attack speed, if you remember, back in the day, you could use it on someone like Raid King, and he just jumps in. On him. By the way, haven't seen the Skeleton King in a long time. Skelly, bro. Been dead for a while. Eki. Yeah, Toby doesn't die. Not with 2300 health and when he lands a stun like that. Aimon's going to be able to assassinate the Shadow Shaman. Now, th this tombstone's in a very good spot. We see instantly the ward's going to be placed down to be able to deal with it. Toby still alive somehow thanks to Tops and the Medic. Finally shut down. Alberka steps in. Spear as well. Kills off the Pugna. Nice now, kills. You are looking for some revenge. They close the distance. Glimpse is ready. Plus doesn't actually want to go for him. Instead, spies out Solo retreating to the east. We'll get the catch onto the Undying. So, yeah, not too bad at the end, though. That was a great Tombstone placement. Took them a little bit too long for them to address it. Uh, but what's what's really sad for Nine Pandas is even when they kill most of these heroes, uh, they're still so afraid of Morph. Kyotaka bot. Runs into the Static Storm. Afraid of Glimpse, right? Like, what can you do? I mean, that shard lasts for such a long time. He good, but I guess anything would look good, whatever he bought. He bought the Dagon, it would be broken. It's glimpse, though. 
They saw Dark Lord. The only thing that is lucky for him with the glimpse still being on cooldown. Is it going to matter though? My mom stops off the mark. Alberk is going to try and run inside the base. They should be able to get the kill onto White Mom, but pure as well. But they're deep inside. Replicate with the Undying. Their base is now Tundra's Tombstone laid down. Who cares about a T2 tower? Who cares about a T3 tower? Like oh, Tundra, no, no fear. Game one, game two, doesn't matter. You have a blink on Mars. You have an Aghanims on Invoke. Shaman. Terrible. They're going to be able to protect their heroes, though. Ekin Solo looking to address Waimon, but meanwhile, the Tundra Claws will kill off the Mars. Kiritaka's going to attempt to enter the fight. Main damage source is going to be here for the Invoker, but... I've got to run. Really have the mana, nor the spells, and yet they need a run. Solo's going to TP out. Dark Lord farms the last little bits, but he's in trouble because Toby should be able to catch up to him. Maybe able to answer off. Nice, Dark nice Lord. Mental. Well done. Very well done. Oh. Uh, it's, you're happy with that. I mean, the Shaman's incredibly far from support, but if they kept running to the north, they would have ran into Topson. Which they did use Stampede. Oh, Topson could be be TP out. How are they going to be able to address this? Eki needs to poke out slip. from the trees. In fact, it's actually going to be a burger that starts, so... All right. Some signs of life. It is still an incredibly tall hill to climb back from. Ported, though, because now have control of that area where Nine Pandas felt pretty strong to try okay. and take that fight. Hua. Really aggressive waveform over. Hirotaka is under the cover nice of the Invis, but is he actually going to be able to find an opportunity to get any spells off? Dark Lord pops out, but the Eclipse is not enough to be able to blow up Puri. We'll still go down. Meanwhile, Toby as well is in some trouble. Dark Lord's going to be able to catch up to him before he enters the tree line. Can they get away, though, before the rest of the Tundra shop? Because the BKB is out from the Luna. Topson's going to be able to continue to hunt her down. Trying to duck nice. in and out. And with the Mask around like? his movement speed, actually might be able to get away. The Thunderstrike doesn't get a glimpse Invoker. of them. Meanwhile, Invoker should be fine, though. BKB, if required, and won't even be necessary. So another pretty good fight for Nine Pandas. You get the Ages, and you get the kill onto Toby. More now, but kind of surprised this game is even this close with what we saw earlier. Yeah, I, I, I think Thundra... Toby again. Another huge jump in. I mean, they should instantly be able to address Solo. Bunkers himself, in fact. But Dark Lord's going to think about entering as well. Topson wants to deal with the Tombstone. Still going to be cautious over the burst potential. Topson is gone and now a Burka finds an angle to catch Whitemon as well with the spear. And my friends, we have a ball game. Together, though. He's got the boys behind him. We're going to see Eki as well. Try and deal with the Shadow Shaman, back. which offers a lot of the control. And like you said, that is a dieback. But the BKB is on cooldown. How easy is it going to be able to, for Dark Lord to take the fight? Oh, Burka. I mean, that's a great speed with the Cataclysm. That's what you need to be able to turn the team fight. But it doesn't matter. Toby and Pure will stand strong and they will clean up. Hero Target tries to slip away. The glimpse as the BKB expires. The most ideal timing you could ever ask for. And it looked great. I think maybe the Cataclysm was half a second too late. Oh, you are losing two sides for sure. Glimpse of solo. Nothing they need to fear, right? With the Invoker and the Luna both dead. Let's have buyback. Once the Invoker is up, I don't think they get Megad without a fight at least. They have one more fight. Cute this fight. They've been able to have some okay ones playing through the deficit. It's even more difficult. Toby's going to be able to scout them out. And again, Toby gets a jump before Eki's able to react. Now a Burka. It's just a prayer of a, an arena to, to try and help protect him momentarily. Pure's going to attempt to waveform over the top. Cataclysm will rain down. Doesn't really do a lot of damage. Not that they were needing it. And now Pure is going to be okay. Everything used on Pandas. That Cataclysm needed to be better. Hobson actually might be killed off okay. I mean, the Tombstone really messing with them. Not be able to continue in their hunts as Tundra. 
is this hex that just got completed on Kiyotaka. Maybe they all or nothing the Morphling. Does have Ag Shard on pure. See what Kiyotaki can do. Needs to work some magic. This is a Scepter Static Storm as well. So they can just blow the Luna up and yep, they're going to do just that. Pure with the DD. That trumps your Hex on Kiyotaka. We're not even have an opportunity to be able to use it. Dark Lord buyback is there. They're about to be Megid. So now you go rush, right? Fearin. Especially when the team's got a 24,000 net worth lead. Strength Morph is out. And now the response is there from 9 class. We saw what they could do prior with the Static Storm onto the Lunar. There'll be another repeat of that. A quick and easy kill. To a quick and easy series for the boys on Tundra. They will be able to make amends for their loss yesterday with a convincing 2-0 victory over 9 Pandas. Congratulations, uh, 